Hey gorgeous, this is episode number 219 with our amazing guest, Maike Hohenwarter. Hi, this is Maike Hohenwarter. You are listening to Heart Sales Podcast with Christina Stonsky. Enjoy. I'm so super pumped to have Maike on the show today, who is actually tuning in from Austria. And Maike is the online course queen. She helps solopreneurs to plan and create an online business so that they can successfully live from it. Her emphasis is on online courses and memberships, as she is sure that cloning yourself and your expertise with the help of info products causes a big leap in any business. And that is so true, and Mike shows it. She has created over 100 online courses and has served over 55,000 online course participants. I'm so excited to have her on the show today to go deep into the strategies that you need and to what you need to actually have an online business because an online course is key. Well, I am so excited to have you on the show today, Michael. Welcome. Hi, Christina. Yeah, and it's so it's so funny. We just had a little talk, right? We are both German speaking, <laughs> now speaking in English just because otherwise most of my audience is not going to get what we're going to talk about. And it's going to be so juicy with the business you have created that I can't wait to share with them. So yeah, give, give us a little bit of a background. What made you decide that you wanted to teach other people how to build online courses? And why do you think it's important for entrepreneurs to have an online course? Uh, first of all, thanks for having me. <laughs> and yeah, teaching, teaching, um, yeah, I always loved teaching. Yeah? Long before I even knew anything about online courses or where it was even possible. Um, when, when I was at school, my teachers always recommended me for, for helping uh, students. And so I already had lots of, of classes when I was 15. Uh, and teaching just uh, was always uh, like a red thread always through my life. And I was always giving some kind of lessons, um, English lessons, German lessons, some lessons on, on, on different things. Yeah. So uh, when I, when I uh, became self-employed, I started on a learning center uh, teaching children, especially, but also adults, on how to, how to learn better, how to understand dyslexia and, uh, and uh, dyscalculia and things like that. I had my very special method. So teaching was always a part of my life. And, uh, but then um, my business uh, didn't go that well because of some, some regulations by the government. They suddenly uh, uh, gave, uh, gave lessons for free. And so uh, all the people who were working in, 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 the, in the afternoon learning segment really lost lots of clients. And so I started to look for other ways. And so uh, by some, some accident, I came to the Laptop Millionaire World Tour in, in Zurich. And I was there, and from really fighting before to to uh, to make ends meet, I suddenly had the plan on how how I could uh, I, I could earn more money and teach more people, and that was teaching online. So when I was there, this was in the year 2012, so quite early. And I suddenly understood that I have to, to have webinars, online courses, and other things to, to clone myself. And that's what I did and started to put all, all the, the lessons I had um, online. And then I also had a, like a teacher training. I had a, like a licensed method. Next thing was I was putting my, my teacher training online. And suddenly I had more revenue and uh, yeah, and suddenly people came from all, <laughs> all over and asked me, Mikey, how do you do this? Uh, how, how, how is it possible to have an, a webinar? How is it possible to, to do online courses? And as I said, it was 2012. Things weren't that easy then. All the software and everything that was recommended by, uh, by these Americans where I, where I took the training was in English, didn't have any VAT, didn't have any double opt-in, all things that I needed. So it was quite hard in the beginning to find my way around, but I did. And then I started teaching people how to, how to go online. And yeah, this is what I'm doing today. And uh, <laughs> by doing it, I created over 100 online courses 
and have a big following, like for example, also on Udemy, I have 55,000 people there. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Have people, awesome. Of course, in my own platform. Yeah, I, I was just going to say, and uh, you know, not to mention that you already have like 55,000 people you have gone through your courses who have uh, booked online. And I mean, that's incredible, right? So many people are dreaming of like getting their first 10 or 100 or maybe 1,000 <laughs> people into their courses or have not even yet created a course because they don't know where to start and what to do. So with, with that, you created a wonderful platform for yourself. And also you were able to influence in such a positive way or impact like thousands of life, hundred thousands of life, right? Not everybody who's in contact with you, who, who actually learns from you, buys from you. So just taking that number and I know you're, you're working on a, um, on online summits um, as well. So you have like this big platform and you teach people how to create their own platforms. And I just, I just think it's so important because it gives you that empowerment, right? You don't, you don't, you're not reliant anymore on like, where do I find my next client, <laughs> right? How can I get them to work with me? It's like an automated system um, where people can just come and buy and get instant support. Yes, right. Yeah, and, and it's it's a lot about this, the right strategy because before that, before I went to Zurich and learned how I really do it right, um, I I thought already that I had an online business <laughs> because yes. like I had a Facebook page, I had my web page, so I thought okay, online business doesn't work yeah, because it doesn't bring me any more people. And this is what often also happens when people come to me and ask me for uh, for help. Yeah? They often say I'm already online. Why doesn't it work? Yeah? And it's just I, I always tell them that Facebook page plus web page does not uh, does not equal an online business. An online business has to be a real strategy. Uh, where online courses are embedded into it. Yeah? It's also not possible just to create an online course and think now everything changes the world. Yeah, it's what people tell you, of course. Yeah, but it's uh, because they want to sell you something. Yeah? But it's not not the way it works. Yeah, an online course is part of of, a, of an online business strategy. Yeah, I love that. And then this happens what you said. Yeah, then it yeah. happens that people automatically buy. Yeah, totally agree. And uh, I think a really, really important point, and I just want to repeat that or or put some light on it because maybe people did not really get it. You said you thought you were set up, you had an online business. And only when you invested into yourself, when you went to Zurich, when you went to learn, you understood what the missing link was. And you were able to to build a real online business that gives you the freedom you were looking for. And I, I think like this investing in ourselves piece is so important and so many people overlook that piece because they just think, well, I already know it. So why, why should I go and learn from another person? Yes. And you know, this is what, what many people make you think. There are so many, many people outside there uh, trying to, to, uh, to sell you something. And especially online business, there are so many people who are not successful themselves, but they, they are selling courses on how to become successful in online business. So there is lots of, of empty shelves yeah, of, of courses uh, where people buy and uh, why do be people buy? I myself have bought some some really <laughs> terrible courses I would never have needed. Yeah? And why do they buy? Because they buy into the idea, because they uh, they have this longing for becoming rich overnight, because they yes. want to believe that it's an easy path if you go online. And yeah, you know, there are people like uh, having their cocktails uh, somewhere at the beach or uh, just just leaning to some uh, red Ferrari or something and telling you, oh, I made this all by overnight and, and everything. Yeah? And you want to believe it. But overnight successes, if they really are true, they, they, they only exist if you have like many, many years of preparation, many years of hard work and also for me today it's easy today I get a lot of passive income but I have been working and I'm still working very hard yeah and I'm giving lots of, of 
benefits lots of uh, lo lots of things to to the people yeah and to my my clients yeah otherwise you know you can always say uh, you want you just want to have it like a peak like a shooting uh, some 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 best selling revenues yeah sell something and then just leave it that way and leave the people alone this burns the fields yeah but you can also say i really want to create a, a business uh, that stays that uh, that remains and that is my business and if you want to do that then you always have to give lots of value to the people yeah. and this this is of course hard work yes oh I, yeah totally totally agree and then with the hard work and when, once you start reaping the rewards right then you can do whatever you want to do like for me it's like the traveling is like one piece that's super important like you have choices all of a sudden that you might not have had before but yeah it's true it's not an overnight success I don't know who this quote is from, but like somebody, um, and it might be Gary Vinachuk that said like, yeah, I'm an overnight success. It took 20 years or something or 25 <laughs> years. Like, you know, then it's Doesn't all have to be 20, yeah, but, but it's, it's more than just some, some weeks or something. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. So tell us a little bit, like what would be a wise decision when I want to start building my online course and I am looking for having the level of success that you are having, and now I've learned, okay, I need a strategy. I cannot just throw a course together, put it on a platform, and then everything will happen by magic. What is maybe another point that I need to know so I make the right decision? First of all, online course, you should have some experience, some knowledge. Yeah. So I know there's lots of online courses out there where people have read the book, maybe not even understood it, copied it, uh, forgot to, to give credits to the person who actually wrote this book yeah? and, and want to sell it. Yeah? But I'm not talking to these people. I'm talking, my, my clients are people who are in the fields of coaching, therapy, speaking, training, who have many years of experience who maybe have even have their own method, but they have only been thinking offline so far and now see that they, uh, yeah, they're, they're staying in the hamster's wheel, that, they, that they're working too hard. And especially now in, in these times of crisis, they, of course, they, 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 their, whole, uh, their whole bookings have, have vanished overnight. Yeah? And so uh, these people, they want to go online to um, yeah, to have a passive income, to have more freedom, to have more free time, and they already have everything or most of the things in in uh, in respect of the of the um, uh, the, uh, the content they want to teach. They just have to understand that some things are a little bit different online, but they they already have everything to teach. So that's what who I am talking to normally, and now they just have to find ways on how to make it attractive online, how to sell it online, and of course, also how to record it. Yeah? it that's, that's always the first thing people are thinking of uh, when talking about online courses. Actually, this is the, the most easy part. Yeah? It's much harder to do the planning first to understand that you your offer, your online course offer has to be embedded into your whole offer. Like you, uh, also your offline, your online, they all have to go together. I'm talking about a product staircase. Uh, where you have the, the, the uh, uh, so-called customer journey because what most people do online or offline is that they are just uh, offering some different things, putting them on their homepage yeah, and, uh, and think, okay, whatever the client can afford or feels more attractive to buy, he, he or she will buy. And this is just not the way it works. You have to know the, the, the path you want to lead the customer through your offer, starting with some free stuff in the beginning and then... Um, uh, uh, then giving them more and more and uh, uh, offering them the first the first uh, sales and so on and then until they go uh, to to like big premium products and uh, of course not everybody goes all the path but they, they all start there and um, you're talking here of content marketing and content marketing means that about 95% will never buy with you. Yeah? They will always just consume your free things. And some people don't like that and don't want to offer it, but it's the only way that you can 
uh, at the other end have your your premium customers because um, trust is one of the most important uh, things in the online business, especially because there are many not so trustworthy people outside. And uh, so you first have to give them little tasters for free. That's like podcasts, like, uh, like blogs, like videos, webinars. There's many different things that you can offer, eBooks and so on. And usually you do that first completely for free. And then the next st step would be that you ask for their email address so that you can put them on, their e on, your, on your email list and are allowed to send them further, further information. And from there on, you nurture, nurture, nurture these people until some people uh, are at the point of buying something. And some want more and some want even more. And this is the customer journey that you should do. And many people who, uh, who start on creating an online course and are not aware of this, never think of where on this path can my online course fit and it can fit on any steps of the path. It's just that you should be aware of which step is it that this my course fulfills. And then another thing I'm planning is that um, um, many people who start on, on creating online courses think of like a compendium uh, kind of course with all my knowledge into one course. Yeah? And this is completely wrong. First of all, it takes so long that most of the people never finish. Yeah? Uh, second, people don't want that, that huge courses. Yeah? They're overwhelmed by it. Yeah? And third, we are talking about uh, uh, education for adults. Yeah? Poor children in, in, at school, they have to kind of learn that way. Yeah? And they, they, <laughs> they are quick in forgetting everything. As, ed uh, as adults, we don't, we don't want to like, just have just get a knowledge of a certain matter. We have problems and we want solutions for these problems. And so a course should always be a very specific solution to a very specific problem because only that makes it attractive. And this is also very important when you plan a course that you think about that, what exactly, which, which exact clients do I want to serve by solving which exact problem? And don't make the mistake not talking to them. Yeah, many yeah. people go <laughs> go somewhere in the dark room or not dark room, but in the in the lonely room. Yeah, and create something they think people want to have, and that's a complete error. Yeah, because you can never really get what people want. You can only get it when you talk to them. And this is hard. This is hard for beginners. It was also hard for me. Yeah, like everybody wants to come out with a perfect product, not asking any questions before. But first of all, you will go wrong and you won't create the perfect product if you do it that way. And second, when you ask people, you're already collecting the first buyers because people who have helped you create the course are very, <laughs> very, very uh, like, likely to buy it. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah that, that leads to the next question. What are the one or two biggest mistakes that people actually do when they walk down that path? Yeah, I think one is already the not planning. Yeah? Yeah. Like many people think uh, starting an online course, the first step to start an online course is press the record button. Yeah, and this is not the first step. Yeah, and you know there are many programs out there who say I teach you how to create an online course in one day. Yeah, I mean, sorry. Not even the planning can only take you only one day. Yeah? I mean, where is the client in such an offer? Would you like to buy a, an online course that was created on one day? Yeah? I mean, there is, this is exactly what's only uh, producing empty shells, which is what is only producing info products for selling them, but not for helping anyone. And this is... Uh, my disclaimer, I, I don't help people like that. So if you really want to be of value for your customers, you, of course, have to take some time into the planning and not start recording right away. So this is, this is one very big mistake. Another big uh, mistake is that people uh, get lost in, 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 in the tech struggle. That they, uh, first of all, they, many are very afraid. And it's like when I, when I tell you my frequently asked question is, of course, technical stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, like which software to use for that and that. Yeah. To like to edit your videos and, 
and uh, which which platform to use to upload your videos and and stuff like that yeah and of course these are questions that have to be asked at some point yeah but these are really not the important uh, questions uh, when it comes to being successful with your online course the strategic questions as like how to put where to put it in your offer these are the the questions to, uh, that are much more important than that have to be asked first yeah, and the yeah. tech stuff yeah first of all it's easier than you think yeah and second of all think of outsour of outsourcing if you really struggle with it there are so many young people uh, the digital natives who can do it for little money and really quick like my son does that for for many of my clients for example yeah do you really have to know how to set up your members side yeah or, or is it just enough that you know how to like add a video yeah so always be, uh, be, be, uh, yeah, be aware of this, that you don't have to do it all alone. Yeah. And of and course, I, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just love that one fact uh, about you is also that for the first time when you put yourself out there, you, you were not even on video. You already had more than 20,000 participants in your online courses and webinars, and still they only knew you from photos. And that just <laughs> amazes me. So you got around that, influencing or impacting so many people, not even being on camera, right? So that should not be the worry, like, how do I do it? That's more the strategic part. And we're going to dive into this in our next episode which I'm super excited about because I, I still have so many questions and you already shared so much value. So I want to also invite people to check out the show notes because you are sharing with us a webinar where you talk about the five reasons why you need an online course. The only challenge is it's in German. So if you are a German speaker or if you feel like you, you can get uh, the message, the link is in the resource section, definitely check it out. Um, I had a look myself. I, I loved it. But we're going to give you some more value in the next episode. So in case you're not German speaking, you still can get a lot of Maike in the next episode. Thank you so, so much for being here with us and, and sharing your knowledge. It was just comes out of you like a dwell. It's just amazing. <laughs> and it shows because you, you know, you've been around the blo block a couple of times and you know exactly what you're talking about. And I just love that when you say over and over again, these are not my people. These are my people. I want the heart-centered one. I want those that care for their audiences. I want those that help providing value and not just doing fluff to get the money into their pockets. So I just love that. Thank you so, so much. You're very welcome. Looking forward to the second part. <laughs> wow, that was a pretty impactful session. And I took away that It is true, sometimes we don't know what we don't know. So we might think we have an online business, we have the web page, we, we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, on Twitter, Instagram, or wherever on social media, and therefore we have an online business and we can work from our laptops, which is not really true if we do not have the right strategy. And I love how Michael went into creating the customer journey of really being strategic where your course comes in and that also you should not be overwhelming people in giving all your knowledge in one course, but to break it down in little chunks so they have a much better learning success and actually implement what they have learned. So hop on over to christineschlonsky.com forward slash podcast for the show notes and also for Micah's wonderful gift, the five reasons why you need an online course. It is in German. So if you can't speak German, I am very sorry, but I also will link her course suite so that you can actually see all the courses she is offering on Udemy under her name and she has some really amazing courses in English at a very, very good rate. So you can check that out nevertheless and get support from Maike. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. 
hop on over to christineschlonsky.com forward slash podcast for all the episodes and check out the show notes with Maike and the transcript as well as all the links to connect with her on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, obviously on her homepage. And uh, yeah, have fun checking her out. And while you're over there at christineschlonsky.com, if you have not yet signed up for the empowerment notes, these are my notes right into your inbox with a podcast update with content I usually do not share, with super special offers, with tips, ideas, advice, resources, you name it, it's all there to support you on your journey to build a successful, thriving business while having fun selling your products and services. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day wherever you are in this beautiful world. And I'm saying bye for now. <music>